Actually, I, I, I think I'm being misquoted. Yeah. I didn't ask for salary increase. What I said is that uh, uh, we hope that as the uh, financial situation of the country improves, our benefits also will improve, including salaries. But what, what I asked for in a diplomatic way was uh, assistance in boosting our savings fund. Yeah. Uh, we've set up a, a savings fund for judges and registrars, and people are paying 4% of their salary every month, but it's still not substantial enough uh, to be able to give loans uh, to members uh, to build, build their own houses or, or do something else with them. As you know, uh, our profession is one where we are prohibited from doing business. Uh, whereas other civil servants or other public servants can do business, right. judges cannot. And uh, when we put this to, to the president that we need, uh, we need to be boosted. We we need for that to be taken into account um, when they are considering salaries. They should know that the, there are things that others can do that we cannot do. So that's when he came up with this idea of a saving scheme, uh, similar to that of the. Soldiers and police and and teachers. Uh, so we set it up and we have started contributing, but uh, we wanted some kind of uh, uh, support to make it uh, viable for people to start borrowing and uh, and paying back. But okay, your <laughs> second part of the question. Even if they were to increase salaries, would that uh, improve the conduct of judicial officers? I do not think so. Uh, I think the fight against corruption is a, a fight for the hearts and minds and consciences of, of our people not just judges and uh, other court staff, but everybody in this country. They need, uh, they need uh, to be committed uh, to, to, to justice and to, to be able to get public services without having to pay for them. If they are free services, they are free services. And uh, you shouldn't pay anything beyond what is required in terms of official fees to get the service that you are entitled to. I think those who take bribes are greedy. Those who take bribes or uh, other uh, forms of corruption is because they don't have uh, that love of their country and and the uh, the love of justice that should do, uh, should be part of them. Uh, I mean, when you sell your your service, when you know the truth, and you take a bribe in order to say something else other than the truth. Really, it should bug your conscience. You should live with that all your life. So, uh, people should realize uh, that uh, these are short-term gains. Uh, you get a, a bribe today, a, a, a few thousand francs or a million or a few million, uh, of course you spend it. 
your birth, then you get a bribe from somebody else. Each time you do it, you are committing injustice against somebody. How are you going to live with that in your life? Yeah. So, a person with no, no shame, no, no, <coughs> no pride, no self-respect, yeah. is the one who will be corrupt. Yeah. Some people get used to it and cease thinking about it. Uh, so the, the war against corruption is the war to, to gain back the minds of those who have lost their sense of, of pride, their sense of dignity. Yeah. They are selling themselves, actually, like prostitutes. At least prostitutes uh, do it because uh, many of them do it uh, because they, it's, it's, uh, it's for their necessities. They are afraid to find something else that can sustain them. But for a judge who is getting a salary, uh, somebody else is living on that or living on less. So to be able to, to, to sell yourself in order to get that uh, uh, momentary uh, gain, it's really, uh, it should be condemned in, in the strongest terms. So, giving them a, a, a better salary will not necessarily change them. They could even get worse. Uh, it, it, it is up to, to, to them to decide uh, that uh, they need their dignity, they should not be involved in corruption.